Definitely one of my favorites. The show. I mean the car, not the model. Yo, YouTubers, what's up? Welcome to Thai Auto News. Today I'm at the Bangkok International Motor Show at Challenger Hall, Mueang Tong Thani, to check out the latest models to be launched in the Thai market. But before proceeding to the video, don't forget to consider supporting our channel by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified of our latest videos. Thanks. Alright, I'm at the Mercedes-Benz booth and the highlight over here is the EQB electric SUV. Well, uh, this one is pretty uh, competitive in pricing. Roughly 3 million baht for this one EQB from Mercedes-Benz. The electric compact SUV. The uh, QB250 <laughs> Lots of uh, aluminium trim inside But basically, uh, this is like a budget version of uh, the Mercedes SUV. To the Honda booth right now, and the main attraction over here is the all new Honda CRV. This is the RS version, and uh, it's hybrid as well. It's available with hybrid powertrain. So, this is the one of the most popular. Honda models in Thailand, the CRV, and this one looks more aggressive. So, this is gonna be a big seller for Honda in Thailand, as well as many other markets around the world. I guess in Japan or even the United States, it's also a very popular model. So, good luck with this one, Honda. So uh, for those who don't want the petrol version of the Ranger Raptor, Ford is also offering the uh, diesel 2.0. So uh, very familiar engine, uh, carried, over, carried over from the previous generation, but uh, has been uh, improved a little bit. So uh, I think in Thailand, the diesel engine would be quite popular as well because uh, as you know, uh, the fuel consumption of the V6 engine is so very, very high. So uh, not very economical to run that, that truck. But this one should be much more uh, friendly to the wallet in terms of uh, the money you pay for fuel every month. So uh, it's priced uh, slightly lo below the V6 petrol. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, if, if you are gonna buy a Ranger Raptor, would you go V6 petrol engine with turbo or the diesel turbo? Which one would you prefer? Uh, leave a comment. 
I'm at the MG booth right now, and the new product from MG is the ES electric station wagon. Price very competitively, under 1 million baht. And uh, comes with a good number of grades compared to the outgoing EP model, which was quite uh, old and you know under equipped. This one comes with a lot of uh, updated features. We'll be doing a walk around of this one also uh, soon, so uh, stay tuned. Let's see what all the fuss is about at on stage at the MG booth. This is Maxus Nine. MT Maxus 9 MPV, I guess. Uh, yep, with electric sliding door on both sides. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seats. Seven seat MPV. Third row with sliding function, not bad, man. P25. So uh, based on the Impressa Coupe, Coupe, I mean Impressa Coupe uh, WRC. Great looking car. Even A standards. Actually, I think this is the best looking Impressa ever. Definitely uh, another one of my favorite cars at this year's Bangkok Motor Show. Super classic and looks so good still. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorites. The show. I mean the car, not the model. <laughs> Super clean, the back, except for that, but uh, clean and classic. Okay, so uh, at the Suzuki booth right now and Jimny, <laughs> one of the cars I want to drive so much, but they never have a... Uh, Test drive car for us. That's, uh, they bring very few units to Thailand, and uh, all are quickly taken by customers despite the very high pricing. But look at it, you know, uh, a capable off-roader as well. So if you can't afford a Land Rover, this is it. Bridgestone Dweller 80 all terrain tires. Spare wheel. Got the interior. The Jimny is made in Indonesia and uh, exported to Thailand. I like this already. Storage above the instrument panel. Looks pretty professional. Oh, but just a regular steering wheel. Suzuki. They didn't have a special steering wheel for the Jimny. Too bad. Oh, what a pity. They should have like, a special the classic style steering. Seats look pretty standard as well. Doesn't look special. But yeah, the console. 
reminds you really uh, you got this handle over there for off, off, you know, heavy off-roading so one passenger can hold on to this is classic stuff over here the center console this is lever and yeah transfer case uh, the lever over here for uh, two high four high four low mm. so nice this one chimney So uh, for those who don't want the petrol version of the Ranger Raptor, Ford is also offering the uh, diesel 2.0. So uh, very familiar engine, uh, carried, over, carried over from the previous generation, but uh, has been uh, improved a little bit. So uh, I think in Thailand, the diesel engine would be quite popular as well because uh, as you know, uh, the fuel consumption of the V6 engine is so very, very high. So uh, not very economical to run that, that truck. But this one should be much more uh, friendly to the wallet in terms of uh, money you pay for fuel every month. Okay, Mazda. So no new products yet. Uh, Apart from the carbon edition cars, well, uh, Mazda is showing off some electric stuff as well. MX-30. Okay, so the MX-30 comes with a uh, hybrid system that is based on a range extender uh, feature. So the rotary engine is still alive and kicking in this one. The rotary engine is used to uh, power the generator to produce electricity to feed the uh, electric motor in this uh, MX-30. Okay, so uh, Toyota showing off the new Prius at the Bangkok Motor Show. These are some of the Toyota Prius with the car. So uh, I think they will sell the new Prius here uh, after a break from the Last generation, the new one will be offered as well. The Toyota booth, so that's a VZ4X electric, but uh, beside that, this is an LPG. HEV taxi concept from Toyota with a very high roof design so super spacious inside check it out look at the headroom foldable front seats as well super Versatile, I'm sure. Good for uh, shopping. Hey, I'm at the Lexus booth right now. So, uh, some photo shoots with the models and the Lexus RZ 450E. The new all-electric SUV from Lexus. So as, as you can see, uh, this is the press at the back of the International Motor Show. But uh, a <laughs> lot, lot of people are here. Not they're surely not press. They've got kids and moms and customers everywhere. So it's a normal thing for a back home motor show. Press day is never a really press day. They, allow everybody to come in and spoil the <laughs> uh, coverage of the media. Okay, I'm at the Hyundai booth and, and this year the parent company of Hyundai has uh, decided to enter Thailand. And uh, the first new product we're going to see is this one, Stargazer.
Okay, so over here, a new model from Peugeot, the 408 plug-in hybrid. So uh, it's nice to see Peugeot uh, stepping into a different market again this year, this year because uh, before that is kind of a SUV-ish lineup they were offering. Looks really sharp. Although uh, I think the <laughs> wheel design is kind of uh, really. I mean, kind of a con confusing. <laughs> uh, who knows? This might be the new trend. Okay, so uh, the French are known to offer very unique car designs, and the 408 KHV is uh, no different. Look at this. <laughs> Very stylish. <laughs> Moving over to the Mitsubishi booth and what do we have here? The XRT concept. Well, the new Triton will be based on this one. So uh, check out the front end profile with slim lights over there. Coming up soon. Yeah, Mitsubishi Triton pickup truck based on the XRT concept. I'm just guessing. So uh, apart from cars, SUVs, off-roaders, motorcycles, Brabus also makes thi this boats. That's a pretty waving at us, but yeah, in, in her background, that's a big boat powered by Brabus tuned engine. <laughs> As well as the uh, KTM motorcycle tuned by Brabus. Mm. Alright, so over here we got some uh, customization zone starting with tech art. Uh, mainly Porsches over here. Uh, all sorts of uh, Customization. If the standard version is not enough for you, yep. <laughs> Check art. Check it out. Got like a four 911s and a Cayenne. The background over there. The first one was kind of a awesome. GT Street R. This one is dressed to kill, man. Look at all this carbon. From top to bottom, check out the amount of carbon in this car.
roll bar at the side. And for those who like yellow, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is the, probably the brightest interior I've ever seen. Oh my god! Holy cow! Okay, so I'm at the BMW booth now and although the XM electric car is uh, being highlighted on the stage, uh, I actually hate it, you know, really ugly design to me. What is really nice is this one, M2. Okay, so the steering is quite nice uh, apart from the regular multifunction buttons you got M buttons two of them over here so we can program the settings first as well as the uh, shift pedals minus and plus full steering wheel for the M2 but uh, judging from the display over here I don't think I'm gonna like the uh, <laughs> graphics in the M2 too much but yeah I think that's a new direction for BMW these days uh, we really miss those classic you know round dials so uh, hopefully uh, BMW would bring them back someday This Thailand car showcases all the seven colors available for the 30th Porsche Thailand edition, but the highlights continue beyond the paintwork. To complement the car's exterior, the wheels are painted in a special two-tone combination corresponding to the exterior color. On the B-pillar, a special 30th Porsche Thailand edition is proudly applied by hand, and another artistic touch that pays homage to the beautiful country of Thailand is presented on the rear deck lid. The five slats on the passenger side are painted in the color scheme red, white, and blue. Okay, so uh, having a look at the BYD Dolphin, but uh, company executives, uh, photo shoots. So although this is the uh, press day, it's full of the public uh, members of the public, uh, car buyers, and everybody is here. It doesn't have to be a press day. This is like a public day actually. So uh, BYD Dolphin electric car, and uh, somebody is asked over here. I bet none of these people around are members of the media. They're all interested buyers over here. Interested buyers, buyers and buyers.